passing this insanity on to our children as though it were valid and as though this is actually preparing us to do anything other than be slaves to this system and to these people. Well, and see, people forget some some of our personalities is okay. We we, we don't mind being uh, race neutral Negroes. Our right. personality would allow us to be race neutral Negroes. But some people like me, who are rebellious by nature, or we got, we see the flim flam, if you will, mm -hmm. that we say, you know what, this is a bunch of crap. Right. And we reject it, but not, but the society doesn't replace it. Okay, we reject the bull crap, but it's not. What are we gonna do? Well, it, it, you know it, it needs to be replaced with some African centered education is going to teach us the kind of things that we need to know in order to prepare us. I, I use a book called um, Blueprint for Black Power by Amos Wilson in the class. I teach, I teach a class called Introduction to Inner City Studies. And Blueprint for Black Power by Amos Wilson is the primary text I use for that particular class. There's a particular quote in there, if I can remember correctly, that says something to the effect of um, a people whose educational system does not prepare them to solve their problems are as defenseless as a people, uh, 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 as a country with no army. And that um, um, the educational system is as important to a country's defense as is that, per, uh, as is that country's army. And without that, uh, without an educational system that they control, um, those people are going to be essentially defenseless. They, they would be as intellectually and mentally defenseless as a country with no army would be physically defenseless in regards to being attacked by someone else. That was cool. Man, I, you, you, suck a, you suck a college professor. Go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in, in fact, if you, if you could give me a second, I'd like to get, give you the quote specifically. No, we do that in okay. the next segment. I'm going right. to have you just do okay. one cool. by yourself. Cool. Cool. Next, Cam, I'm going to end it on this. Okay. Right. This is cool. You just, I'm going to give you like, uh, like 15, 10, 15 minutes just blasting, man. Okay. Uh, Brother Gimbal, man, how long have you been a professor here at the Center, Center for Inner City Studies here in Chicago? Uh, I've been teaching here on a regular basis uh, since 2004. Um, I taught periodically kind of on and off, um, you know, from the late 80s, I guess, to the present and so on. But you know you're a director of admissions. Yeah, that's true. Now, like like me, I, I mean, some I made the million dollar mistake, and a lot of brothers do. We make the million dollar mistake by not going to college. And if we don't go to college, you got to be an electrician, a plumber. You know, these things. Racism prevents us from learning some of these things. Heating and cooling, we know that. Right. But a person like me who made the million dollar mistake, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I consider when my children go to college, I make they going off to school. I make take a class of here and there. But let's talk to these younger brothers who are in their twenties who are in grammar school or in high school and they're at the tipping point like I was. I could have gone if I had a little bit more push from the family, a little bit more structure or people helping me. Mm -hmm. I probably would have gone. Right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. they, there's a lot of brothers on, on the tipping point. They, they, they can go either way. Right. Encourage them to come on to school, to college. Well, I would definitely like to do that to encourage our brothers. When I, used, I used to be the recruiter here. I've been working at this location for 30 years. And when I was a recruiter here, um, from 88 to 99, I would say that 75% of the applications I got were from females. Uh, and the question I would always ask myself, well, what do these brothers think that they're going to do? How are they going to, how they, how they going to move out your mama's house on a McDonald's job? And, 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 and drug dealers don't retire, they die, they go to jail. So that's not, a, that's not a viable option. So the question becomes, well, what are you going to do with your life? You want to be a mercenary and join the U.S. military and go over someplace where halfway around the world uh, and get caught up in that nonsense? That's not a viable option. Uh, uh, I mean, as far as this current war is, is, is going on and stuff like that, uh, and neither one of my friends. Uh, we're talking about the two most historical enemies of black people on planet Earth, Europeans and Arabs. All right, so, so you know... To join either side is is is, is foolish in my opinion. Uh, 